Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be talking about a famous actress that is said to have a dark past. If you're interested in this type of content, please subscribe and leave a comment down below. With that being said, let's get started. Maria de los Angeles Felix Guereña was a Mexican actress and singer. She was born on April 8, 1914 in Alamos, Mexico. She was one of the most successful figures of Latin America cinema in the 1940s and the 1950s. No one can deny her talent, but mostly her beauty. She would always stand out in any project that she was involved in. She was also known for having a strong personality and was always desired by men. But there is a dark side to this story of this beautiful woman. The things that we are about to talk about in this video are not stated as facts. Maria was a beautiful young lady and I'm sure she had plenty of men seeking for her attention. But there is one romance that Maria Felix couldn't let go of. This romance was with her own brother. His name? was Josue Pablo Félix Guareña. He was two years older than her. According to the rumors, their mom started to notice that Pablo and Maria had a different type of attention towards each other and were different from the other siblings. People do say that the mom witnessed something disturbing between Pablo and Maria. The mother made the decision in separating them from each other by sending Pablo to the military and Maria, well, rushing her to get married with Enrique Alvarez. It is said that Pablo became depressed from having to be in military school and hearing about Maria's engagement. Pablo committed and ended his life with a shot in the head in 1929. But it doesn't end here. 80 years later, it was discovered that Pablo was actually murdered at the military school. Through her career, Maria would love to talk about her brother. It's the way that she would talk about him that made people question if the romance between them was true. In an interview, she said this about her relationship with her brother. My mom found out about my relationship with Pablo and that it wasn't the same with my other brothers and she started to separate us. I couldn't be close to him or sit on his lap or crawl on his back because she would be furious. In another interview, she would describe their relationship as a white incest, meaning it was innocent, the attraction they felt for each other. She once said this in an interview about Pablo. He was a great man, handsome, and with many qualities. He was a handsome god with blondish hair once the sun would hit it. He had a mole near his mouth, kind of like mine. We would call him El Gato, the cat, because his eyes were yellowish and clear. According to the interviews she had, when they would bring Pablo up, she would always say he was the love she couldn't have. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this relationship. Once Maria Felix was discovered, she starred in many Mexican films. She was the main character in every movie. People say that Maria had sold her soul to Satan for fame and beauty. It is said that Maria Felix would always catch the attention of any man. Whoever laid eyes on her would be mesmerized by her beauty and charm. This was her gift from Satan, to be able to make any man fall in love with her and do whatever she wanted with the attention and fame. This is how she was able to be discovered and introduced to the big screen. Amor, por ti bebí, mi propio llanto. 
Women that worked with her on set would say that Maria Felix had a look she would give men. People say that she would hypnotize men just by looking into their eyes. They believe she made a pact with a demon that would help her hypnotize men for her to take advantage of them. Through time, rumors started to come out about her having an obsession with the occult and witchcraft. Even the jewelry she would wear was strange. In her house, you could find altars and even paintings of demons. She even paid an artist to paint her in a shape of a demon. Some of this artwork is disturbing. Another conspiracy theory of Maria Felix is that she would eat human flesh. It is said that Miss Felix was a cannibal and from the start, human meat was her beauty secret. In an interview, she confesses that her and her son were on a trip to Morocco at the time she was filming for a new movie. This is what she told the interviewer. One of the days that I was there, a very important businessman that is very successful invited me to dinner. This man enjoyed eating human meat but I didn't know it at the time. They served us and I ate the meat and I enjoyed it. It was something juicy and delicious, exquisite meat. So I asked what it was and he simply said, human meat. It wouldn't surprise me if she was a cannibal. If she had confessed of eating human meat once, what makes you think she didn't do it again? One of his nephews has said that he knows many dark stories about his aunt, but is not able to talk to the public about them. But you can't deny the strange paintings and symbolism that surrounds Maria Felix. What's also weird is the date she passed away. Maria Felix passed away April 8, 2002. Yes. You heard right, she passed away on her birthday. With her passing away on her birthday just raises the suspicion of her having a deal with Satan. In the end, we will never know if these theories are true about Maria Felix. Like I said at the beginning of this video, these are just conspiracies and rumors that have been said through time and are not stated as facts. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next paranormal story.